Today is the release day of the very, very anticipated Pokemon set, Crown Zenith. Here is everything in the box. We have a good amount of packs. We have 10. And of course, this is the last set of the Sword and Shield era. And we're going out with a massive bang with so many amazing cards, including the 70 cards in the Galarian Gallery. Okay, guys, let's break the seal. I am super excited to get into it. I have not really seen many cards, of course. You see them surfing, you know, on Instagram, the internet. It's kind of unavoidable at some spots. But here we are meted with the, bo the box, the little catalog. There we go. So we have, of course, the two icons of the set, Zamazenta and Zacian. And then we go into all the different cards. I don't really know everything that's in here, but let's see if I could find. So here is the start of the gallery, like insane. Everyone has been posting about this Pikachu and just so many amazing cards to round out this, you know, section of our Pokemon lives. First up inside, we have some dividers. We have the blue on this side and red on that side. Then we have the markers, of course, the V-Star and the damage counter. We also have the elusive brick of energies that no one really uses. We have a code card for y'all. Here we go. Do with that what you will. We have the sleeves, really awesome, really like it. I like the touch of purple that they added in right here. Really like, I don't know, makes it more dynamic to me than of course the meat of the box. We have 10 packs all ready to be open. And then lastly, one of the big showstoppers, we have the Lucario V-Star promo, something that a lot of people are going to be getting. So if you want this card, be sure to look out for it at lower prices. Don't get them right now because they will definitely drop over time because there's going to be so many floating around. So now we have all these packs ready to be opened. Going to put them right here and we have 10 packs to go through. So as I'm recording this, it is actually the Thursday before release. I got my packs early. I found them at Target. Now I know that I think every pack might have like a hollow in it. I'm not exactly sure what, you know, we're entailed to getting in each pack. So we're starting off with an energy and I am going to take my time on these first couple of packs just to go through it and look at some of the new artwork that we have here. Rock rough. Oh, that's really pretty. Purloin. Love disc. We have a reverse whalemer and then on the back we have a tangrowth. Okay, so we're not 100% a hollow. Let's just go into this second pack. So what I have heard from people around the community is that the ETBs are stacked. Um, the Regilecki boxes are also stacked with poles. So we're going to be doing a video on those, of course. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to be informed and see all of the Crown Zenith openings coming up. Pancham, Snow Run. Ooh, we have a Latias Trainer Gallery, Galarian Gallery. Wow, that is a beautiful card. I have not seen anything on this card. This is beautiful. Really love it. It's giving me Fusion Strike vibes back to when the set actually came out in Fusion Strike with the stamped cards. Really am digging this. And let's see if we get anything on the back. We have an Absol Hollow. Okay, first hit pack, we have the Latias and the Hollow. I will definitely take those. Moving on to the third pack. First, you know, impressions of this set. The artwork is beautiful. I think it is a great set to end on for this, you know, time of our lives in the Pokemon era with Sword and Shield coming to a close. I'm excited to see where Scarlet and Violet is going to take us in the future. And I'm excited for all the new Pokemon that we're going to get. Oh, we have the Reggie Gigas V Star alternate art what okay um i will take that that is insanely beautiful let's see if we have anything on the Ooh, we have an energy okay another two-pack whammer 
Uh, that is incredible. I did not know that this was in this set either. I will definitely take that as well. Fourth pack, and we already have so much heat. Like, what is going on? This is insane. I don't really have a chase card. Everyone wants the Pikachu card. I've seen that, like, the Japanese version ahead of time. That's a really nice card, but I don't really know much of anything else that is in this set. So I'm just really gonna have to keep my eyes out and see what we have. Ooh, I love that artwork. Luxio and like the Shinx line and look, I love all of them. Let's see if we have anything on the back and we have, ooh, a Snorlax. I really do enjoy that rare card, but let's move on to the fifth pack. So far, five packs in really good i'm really happy so far i mean we do have a lot of cards that we are going to have to pull will i master this set i haven't really decided yet i know that the packs are loaded right now so i'm really debating on if i should or not but let's just see so far we haven't gotten any v cards i think there's v cards and regular v stars so let's see if we can get any of those are you joking rocks and Galarian Gallery. That is sick. That is amazing. I love that artwork. This ETB, man. And then let's see if there's- Ooh, we have a V card. We have a very cute Greedon. So, so far, all of our packs have been double whammers. Pack number six. We are cruising right now. We have six hits so far. We've had five packs. This is going to be pack six. We have four more packs remaining after this. I would have to say these ETBs are really loaded up right now. I don't know if this is just like a fluke, but I don't know. I'm really enjoying this right now. Shinx we seem to be getting a lot of. Seal. Okay. I didn't know that this was in the set. Radiant Eternatus. That is a sick card. Love that. Let's see if we get anything on the back. And we have... Ooh, a Calyrex hollow. That's interesting, but another double pack hit. Okay, next pack. Can we get 10 hits out of this ETB? I think we can at this rate. And I think all of the code, whoa, something's up with that code card. There's like glue on it or something. I think so far ETBs are maybe the best. I, this is the first thing I've opening. It's only 10 packs. I will definitely be opening more. <gasps> Shaman, I love Shaman. But I don't know if this is like normal for pull rates at all. Grubbin, Grubbin and on the back, ooh, okay. We have a Heli Heliowisk, Helio something. I don't know how to say it. Moving on. So I think we've only gotten two or three packs that haven't had anything in it. And that's how I feel like cards should be. It should be not a like money game. It should be fun for people to actually open cards. We have a Psychic, Lost Vacuum, Electric, Switch, Snow Run, Larvesta, Tank. Ooh, that's a pretty card. Love Disc on the back. Ooh, we have a Water Energy. Another one like the Metal. Are these common? I feel like this is not supposed to be common. I don't know if there's any secret rares but I'll take a water energy. Second to last pack. If you guys are enjoying this video as much as I am, please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe, and say what your favorite card has been so far. I know also in this set, there are some notorious gold cards that people wanna pull. I believe it's like the big four, Giratina, Arceus, Palkia, and Dialga. Those would be sick to get. Pinard. Are you joking? What is that artwork? Oh my gosh. Is Aurora V Star? Uh, okay. And on the back, we have just an enamorous rare. But wow, that is a gorgeous V Star. Last pack, guys. Be sure to tell me down below what card has been your favorite from today. I am so excited to keep opening this set. I think it's the most excited I have been for a set in a long time. So I think I'm probably going to end up mastering it. But let me know what you think down below. Should I master it? Is it worth it? 
but let us see. We have a Larvesta and we are ending on, oh my gosh, a Leaf Energy. These have to be super common because I have gotten three of them. What? Okay, guys, I didn't give an outro in that because I like completely forgot, but we got 11 hits out of 10 packs. This set is so worth it. I definitely would say go out and maybe buy like an ETB. For your kids, I would say this is a really good set if you want to get them into collecting, but also just be wary of the pull rates that they may be different in your box compared to mine, but this was a really good box for me. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!